Hi everyone, today I have got all the details about Meghalaya for you. With the season just around the corner, it's the perfect time to explore its diverse landscapes and activities. Whether you have 3, 7 or 10 days, I have got a travel guide ready to help you plan your journey including how to get there, places to visit and budget tips. But first, make sure to subscribe. Now let's dive in. How to reach Meghalaya? Starting our journey is easy. Fly to Guwahati or take a train. From there, a scenic road trip awaits. You can rush through Meghalaya's highlights in 3 to 4 days. But to really soak in its beauty, plan for a 7 to 10 days trip. There is so much to see and enjoy and every spot deserves your time. A week or more lets you explore and appreciate all the beautiful places Meghalaya has to offer without rushing. Best time to visit Meghalaya The best time to visit? March to July, the weather is just perfect. Meghalaya has something different to offer in each season. So, when you should visit really depends on what you want to see and do. For nice weather and green views, go between March and July. To see Dawkey's crystal clear waters, plan for November to February. If you love the rain and want to see full waterfalls, June to September is the time. And if you are into trekking, the trails to the waterfalls are best right after the monsoons. Every season in Meghalaya gives you a new reason to visit. When it comes to exploring Meghalaya, you have the flexibility of choosing between a self-drive adventure or the convenience of a taxi. Maybe I'll drive this time as well. You are most welcome. Both options are easily available and offer a unique experience of the scenic beauty and cultural richness of the state. If you are considering a taxi, I highly recommend travelling with HEP. He is not just a driver but an expert traveller and a guide. HEP knows the ins and outs of Meghalaya and can take you to the hidden spots that aren't on the typical tourist trail, offering a more intimate and authentic experience of the region. I can do that. I can arrange. Uh, if they need a bigger vehicle, I can arrange. So how do you pronounce your name? HEP. HEP. Hap. <laughs> so if you are visiting Meghalaya, he is your guy. You guys need to get, get in touch with him. What to eat while in Meghalaya? Explore a world of different foods. Each area has its own special dishes. Sobok. Sobok. We will uh, cook it. If you love meat, there are lots of tasty options to try. Every meal is a new experience, giving you a taste of Meghalaya's rich culture and flavours. What? Enjoy your food journey here. Very popular here, everyone is having it. Uh, so, w what do you call this? It's Kway Dum. So, you have to. Yeah, look how long she said Kway Dum. Once upon a time, on a bright and sunny day, we found ourselves in the lively city of Guwahati. With bags packed and spirits high, we hopped into a car, ready for an adventure in the magical land of Meghalaya. On day one, we zoomed through the less crowded western route with the wind in our hair and excitement bubbling in our hearts. As we are approaching the sunset, it's becoming magical. So many colours are coming out, the green, the different uh, greenish yellow and the sunset colours in the sky. I, I guess it's going to be amazing. Our destination, a cosy little nook called Dopachi Homestay in Chandigiri, nested amongst the whispering trees of Tura. Days 2 and 3 were like stepping into a colourful painting. Tura, with its vibrant culture, friendly faces and the bustling fisheries, welcomed us with open arms. <laughs> we climbed the mighty Nokrek peak where the view made us feel like we were touching the sky. Each night, the comfy beds of Dopachi homestay cradled us to sleep. Day 4 was a ride through the picturesque William Nagar leading us to the Sirin Siju. The Siju Tourist Lodge amidst nature's lullaby was our resting place under the starlit sky. At Siju Tourist Lodge. Chale? In Siju, there are a lot of mysterious places to explore. One such place is the Siju Caves, known for their deep darkness and the secrets they hold. The caves are a world of mystery, where every step takes you deeper into the unknown. It's really bad. Let's go back. I think I am better when I'm boating in the open water. This is scary. <laughs> Nearby, strange-looking limestone formations add to the mystery, making you wonder about the forces of nature that shaped them. It's a place where adventure and mystery meet, inviting explorers to uncover Yay! its hidden secret. <laughs> With the first rays of sun on day 5, a new chapter unfolded. We ventured to Nongkhum River Island. Oh, what fun we had, boating and splashing by the waterfall. The island's guesthouse whispered the tales of the river as we drifted to sleep. 
day 6 was a day of choices. A visit to the mystical Mofan Lur or a journey to the enchanting Cherapunji. Whichever path we choose, wonders awaited. In the heart of Cherapunji on day 7, we danced in the rain, explored iconic spots and tasted food that tickled our taste buds. Aisha guest house, warm and inviting, beckoned us for a night's rest. In Cherapunji, the living route bridges are a must-see. It's a long trek down and then up to reach them, but the experience is unforgettable. Stay at the Serene Homestay, your cozy retreat, perfectly situated for your trek down to the living route bridge. If you are short on time or looking for something less strenuous, there are single-decker bridges in other areas like Maulin Lung, which are just as beautiful and easier to reach. Meghalaya is full of these natural wonders, so you have plenty of options to choose from. If you are up for more adventure, there are other treks you can explore in the Cherapunji area. The trek to the Blue Lagoon and the base of Nohokalikai Falls are longer but offer breathtaking views and experiences. Each path takes you through the enchanting landscape of Meghalaya, unveiling its beauty with every step. Enjoy the beauty and magic of Meghalaya with its rich natural wonders and captivating landscape. Day 8 was a fairy tale drive to Molin Long. The village, clean and green, was like a page from a storybook. Areka cottages, nested amidst nature's embrace, was our heaven for the night. Adventure called out on day 9. We answered with day trips to Doki and Shongpedong. The Umgot River, clear and serene, invited us for a magical boating experience. Day 10. Though the end was near, the magic wasn't done. The return to Guwahati was adored by the stops at the mystical Lightlum Canyon and the tranquil Umiyam Lake. Every moment a cherished memory. Want something off the beaten path? Meghalaya has hidden gems waiting to be discovered. Dive into the rich Garo culture. Wonderful opportunity to spend this evening with all of them here. Look at this. This is a local dress of Garo woman, and they helped me to wear it properly. I cannot believe that I'm wearing something which is uh, belonging to the ancestors, uh, which is 200 or more years old. But uh, yeah, this is how it looks. <laughs> Explore mysterious jungle peaks and hear the tales of Mandeburu. In Nokrek, I always love hearing local stories about Mandeburu. India's own Bigfoot. It's both spooky and exciting. You can camp, listen to tales and maybe spot something mysterious here. Choose your own adventure in Meghalaya. Drive through uninhabited stretches with landscapes so unique. They are like from another planet. <laughs> Discover hidden massive waterfalls, mysterious views and secluded pools. So raw and unexplored. The nature at its best. This waterfall here, it's massive. Don't miss the trek to the top of Nuhokalikai Falls. The strange looking area feels like a different planet and there is absolutely no one around. It's a peaceful and unique experience just for you. And the most important thing for which I went there, the mesmerizing ride on the transparent waters of the Umgot River. It's like a journey into another world where the water is so clear, you can see the life beneath, making every moment magical and unforgettable. Be amazed by nature's wonders, including the world-famous root bridges, pristine villages and the crystal clear waters of transparent rivers. In Meghalaya, every turn is a new discovery. So, if you are thinking of these trips, let me share the costs. Couples heading to Meghalaya, listen up. For a 10 days trip, plan to spend between 42,000 to 64,000. This includes your stay, travel, food and all the amazing places you will visit. Got a week? A 7-day trip will cost between 32,000 to 48,000. That's a whole week of exploring beautiful places and trying tasty food together. Only have 4 days? You can still have a great time for 18,000 to 28,000. Explore the beauty of Meghalaya in a short but sweet trip. Remember, these are just estimates. Cost can change. So, are you ready for an unforgettable trip to Meghalaya with your loved one?